We know that in order to help transform lives, we need to create equitable opportunities, right? And in order to do that, we need to hear from, from, from our students. I was just turned 23 years old when my son was born. And you start worrying about things like life insurance, health insurance, mm -hmm. right? Rent already, right? And you oh, have yeah. all these, you start worrying <laughs> you about 529. You yeah, like <laughs> overnight, like, instantly, <laughs> you know? And, and all those things cost money. And, mm -hmm. and you cannot do that no. on a minimum wage salary. No. And going back to school gives you that, that, that new floor, right? So your floor before you have a degree is $15 an hour in Montgomery mm -hmm. County. And once you get that degree, it, it's a lot more than that, right? So That's giving it. giving yeah. my son every opportunity yeah. to succeed in life. So definitely the scholarships yeah. from Montgomery mm. College has been a huge asset to my success. Mm. Yes. The scholarships have actually allowed me to have finances and stability with a babysitter. Yes. So in that Excellent. case, I'm able to use that time to study. Right. Nice. And I feel that if students are supported, then they will be successful. MC is providing opportunities where my life is literally transforming, mm -hmm. um, opening the doors directly to um, job opportunities, mm -hmm. um, internship opportunities, mentorships, um, these micro-credential badges for these classes mm -hmm. that are boosting our resumes up in the field that we want to pursue, mm -hmm. um, certificate options, and the list goes on. It's something that I really didn't think about because as a returning student in a much better position, I'm able to receive the information now in a way that I couldn't before. Mm -hmm. um, and so MC is turning the tables, honestly. I don't know another school locally that is um, mm -hmm. doing what they're doing. I mean, you have a whole um, initiative here for student parents, like who's doing that? When we think about intergenerational, right? Oh. And we think about Absolutely, right? And we, we, so <laughs> we think about, you know, children seeing mm -hmm. their parents thriving, right, in a post-secondary education experience. And they're like, yeah, I got, yes. yes, that's, mm -hmm. I see, I see that. Mm -hmm. I can do that, right? Yeah. Um, I, I know the power of that. I'm a first-generation college student. I, I saw that through my brother. I didn't get a chance to see that through my parents. Mm -hmm. But I know, um, and so many of us know the power of, you know, it's going to younger individuals, especially, um, especially if they're your kids, you know, seeing what you're doing, seeing the recent graduate walk across stage, right?